This is question 10c. Here we're told that shape S can be transformed to shape T by the translation 0, negative 3, followed by a rotation. We're asked to describe the rotation. So the first thing that we're going to do to answer this question is we are going to perform the translation 0, negative 3 on shape S. So in order to do this, a translation just means that we're going to move the shape and the translation vector is telling us to move it zero. The number on the top is telling us to move it zero left or right. So the number on the top refers to whether we're moving it left or right. The number on the bottom is up or down. So we're not going to move it left or right. We are going to move it down by three. So we are going to take each of these corner points and move them down by three. So one, two, three, a new point is going to be there. This new point will be just there. And then this corner is going to be one, two, three down as well. Okay, so this gives us a new shape and we'll just sketch that in. And what we're asked to do is we're asked to describe the rotation. How is our shape getting from this new position here to shape T? Now, one way that we can do this and work this out is we, we can use a compass. We know that it is a rotation. So we just write that down. And we can say that it is a rotation of, and we can see here that's a quarter turn. That's a rotation of 90 degrees. So it's a 90 degree rotation, and that is 90 degrees clockwise. All that is left for us to really do is to figure out what is the center of rotation. And to do this, what we are going to use is a compass. So when we're trying to figure out what the center of our rotation is, I always like to begin by starting at the point zero, zero. And what we'll do, and what we are going to do, is we're going to place our compass on zero, zero. We are going to take one of the corners of our shape. Um, so just opening it wide enough to do that. And so that we've got the corner, uh, the sharp point of our compass on zero, zero. So the point that we're going to test to see if that is the center. And then a pen or a pencil from our compass on the one of the corner points of our shape. Now, what we are hoping is that if we move this around, that this will map onto the corresponding corner of our new shape. So we would hope that if we were to spin this around, so rotate it by 90 degrees, that th these points will map onto each other. And when we do that, yes, we can see that that is right. So I've just started at the point zero, zero. I could have started in other places and basically done it by trial and error. What I would also do, rather than just doing one point, um, I would just check that it works on another. So if we check this point, this corner here uh, on our translated shape, we are hoping that this, when we rotate it 90 degrees, that it will map onto that corner of the shape T. So let's do that. And we can see that it does. And so what we can say is that this is a rotation 90 degrees clockwise and then the center is zero zero now just a quick point here the reason that I chose zero zero uh, was simply just because uh, that tends to be a common answer for the center um, with these types of questions and also it looked like it was going to be about zero zero however it's you know you can start at any point and do exactly the same thing. So we could have started here, matched our compass up to there and see if that would, would have worked. And as you can see that, you, we can see that clearly won't. But as I say, it's a good starting point when we're trying to figure out the center of rotation, 
to start at zero, zero, and it just so happened that in this case that was correct.